Guys, gals, and everything in between, Evil Dead is back again this week, and I'm so excited. It just it always makes me feel happy inside. If my chroma key is still acting up, it's because I'm still having to kind of MacGyver everything, because the chronicles of the weird electrician from last week's episode, for me anyway, continued because I came home today, and once again, not all the work was done, and a strange smell was in the house, so there's probably a human corpse in my attic now, and I'm probably just smelling that rotting from whatever this weirdo did while I had to go out for the day. Who knows at this point, but Chronicle continued. As we continue with the Chronicles of Ash vs. Evil Dead, we now confirm my theory from last week that the girl, the, the random girl who grabbed her and cut the dude's face off and it was awesome, yeah, she is in fact from Evil Dead 2, and I couldn't recognize her uh, but at the same time, when she brought it up in the beginning of this episode, I was like, I was right! Oh, two for two on my theories. Missy number one being the master, and number two, Evil Dead. What's good? Mic drop. Now that I got that out of the way, let's continue with the episode. Okay, so Ash and them are on their way. This episode's titled Brujo. They're on their way to meet Pablo's uncle. And so as they're on their way, uh, the girl, I want to say her name's Kelly, is getting carsick. And I don't know, maybe it's the messed up person in me, but when she got sick, I was sitting there and I was looking at her and I was like, you're actually, you're actually kind of hot. You know what? I think you're hot. <laughs> that was my creepy thought of the day. She gets sick on the side of the road and Ash is like, all right, let's do this. And for the first time in Evil Dead history, as far as I know, we see what in fact is chasing Ash when, when that camera's moving and everything. And it's this giant smoke dog from Lost. Yes, the smoke dog from Lost is in this. There's this giant cloud chasing him. And then Ash is like, all right, let's cue the nitrous. Cues nitrous in this old beat up car. Um, he makes a joke about how he only has like 12 more payments on this car. Now, mind you, he's had this car since Evil Dead 1. So, I don't know. To me, that's really funny. He cues the nitrous and he's... He's got a trailer in the back. He's not going anywhere. So, all of a sudden, he runs out of gas and uh, they, they're just barely making it. And they coast in and the evil is, is repelled because uh, this shaman guy uh, essentially... He, he fights the forces of evil, and he's able to fight it back with supernatural powers. That got a little weird to me, but then I remembered in Army of Darkness, they have skeletons that poke ash in the nose, and I was like, all right, cool, yep, more supernatural stuff exists in this world than I remember. As they're first getting there, uh, he's like, I've been sensing you, Pablo. And Ash is kind of like, all right, let's good, let's get, let's get business done. Now, folks, didn't expect this. I mean, I should have. But the rest of the episode is, honest to God, an acid trip. Ash takes a bunch of shots of this hallucinogenic stuff, and he's like, maybe I should have a little more. I don't even know the uncle's name. It might even be Brujo. Don't remember. But the face is warping, and he eats an eyeball, and Ash is like, eh. So he's having to go on an epiphany from the Simpsons movie to figure out what's going on. Ash is is freaking out and he's tripping balls, but at the same time, it's kind of a happy tripping balls. And in the meantime, Pablo is trying to build an arm for Ash, which makes me really want to know what happened to his arm from Army of Darkness. What I think is interesting also is we cut back and we see that the cop and the lady from Evil Dead 2 are actually a team now. So now we have a team racing to Ash, and we have our Ash team, and I like that actually. I think that was really cool. I didn't expect that, so uh, honestly, I didn't know where to go from there. As Ash is tripping balls, uh, he, he wants to go to Florida because he was going to take the girl to Florida, uh, to Jacksonville, Florida on a vacation, but then Evil Dead happened and Army of Darkness happened and all of that, so he couldn't take her. And so that's always been his dream place. He hallucinates about his lizard, and then we get the reveal that the reason why she's been feeling under the weather, because I thought they played that up a bit much, is the imp from Doom is actually still possessing her. 
Like, she's, she's possessed by it. And so she's like all nearly acting sick and Pablo goes and looks for her. Boom! Electrocutes and she's just kind of like, oh, I'm the imp from doom. Going out there, she runs out and pretends to be the girl. And he, she's like, you know, Pablo needs help. And he's like, okay, Ash is in a good place. So tries to fight Ash. And Ash is like, Gah, where's the imp from doom coming from? Eli the lizard points it out. Ash, it's your mind. You can fight it. I really like this Ash tripping balls episode. As random as it is, I feel like this is the filler episode uh, because of the fact that Ash randomly tripping balls, like, it works because they're not really doing anything and you get some kind of funny shots and they go back to what looks like the cabin in the first Evil Dead. And Ash is like, oh wait, yeah, it is my dream. So Ash is fighting back and is strangling in real life her. So he's fighting back in his own hallucination. Which leads me to believe, why doesn't Ash just do a bunch of drugs to fight this thing? I mean, granted, he could have won if no one came into the room. But they came back in and grabbed her and they're like, oh my god, what happened? And Ash, like, passes out again. And then end of episode. Now this episode had a lot less to it, so this review's a little bit quicker. But I do have to say that I really like this episode even if this was the filler episode, because you got some information, and then when actually stuff started hitting the fan, it was this ash tripping balls, and it still felt important to the story, which shows you can have filler that feels important to the story. And that is what I loved about the episode, is it showed that it actually can have relevance to have less going on in the story because we got to see what the evil looks like. We got to see the imp possessing the girl. We got to see the hand being rebuilt. We got to see this fight with the imp thing from Doom in his mind. Now she's like trying to like fuck his brain up again. In the end, we got a lot in this episode with not much storytelling, which shows that simplicity is the key in this show. And I was okay with this episode being kind of fillerish because a lot less happened, a lot less violence happened. Because, I mean, you have that scene in the fog with Ash, which was amazing, by the way. When he first starts to have his epiphany, I kind of glazed over it. Um, he's having his epiphany and he's seeing like the people with the sack on it on their head and not also him too. That was intense. It was cool. I liked everything about the episode. The thing I have to say is that if this is the case that this is a filler-ish episode for Evil Dead, we're in for a treat because seriously, this was the most filler-ish episode and it had so much importance. They really have the story down tight in this show and they know where they want to go, they know they have an endgame, and they know what they have to tell. Which means this filler was still telling important story. Everything means something in this show and that's what I absolutely love about it and it just proves my point further. I love this episode. Alright, guys, gals, and everything in between, what did you think of this episode? Uh, did you guys think it was the awesomeness that I thought it was? And did you guys actually consider it filler? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Got plenty more videos coming to you.